In this video, I am going to solve the third problem from chapter number 16, Waves 1 from Principles of Physics, 10th edition. Okay. A string fixed at both ends is 7.5 meter long and has the mass of 0.12 kilogram. So you have a string and both end of the strings are fixed and the length of the string is mentioned. What is the value of the length of the string? The length of the string is mentioned as 7.5 meter and the mass of the string is mentioned as 0.120 kilogram. Clear? And it is subjected to a tension of 96 newtons. That means the tension applied to the string and that value here mentioned as 96 Newton and set oscillating. So after you apply this tension, because once we give the tension, then only we can get the uh, the standing waves, right? So you are oscillating, and by that you have to find the answer for three question. In the first question, we are going to find we are going to find what should be the speed of the wave on the string, and in the second question, we are going to find what should be the longest possible wavelength. That means the lambda value we are going to calculate. And in the third part, we are going to find what should be the frequency for that wave. Clear? Understand? That means they did not mention anything, but the, they give one word, which is a longest possible. If you come across this word, longest possible wavelength, you have to consider it has the loop n is equal to 1. The word longest possible means it indirectly says the number of loops appeared on the string. Because when you oscillating this, this string, it will produce a loop, right? Standing waves with a loop, am I right? So the word longest possible wavelength stands for n is equal to 1. So you have to find the wavelength value for the loop n is equal to 1. A frequency value for n is equal to 1. What should be its frequency? Clear? Okay, now let's we just apply the rule one by one because we have all the data, so we are just going to apply the rule for getting the answer for the first question. Let's we start with the first question. We are going to find what should be the speed of the wave on the string. In the theory, we studied the rule V, speed of the wave on a string, which will be given by the rule T over mu, right? Where mu is mass per unit length, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to and substitute this value here. So what will happen, this rule V, which is equal to square root of t over mass per length if you rearrange this equation what will happen this l will go to the top right so by that the equation will become v which is equal to tension multiplied by length over mass now i am going to substitute the value for getting the answer for the speed of the wave on a string so what should be the tension you applied we applied 96 newton and its length is 7.5 meter and the mass of the string is 0 0.12 we have all the data so I'm going to substitute the value. So the tension is 96 Newton multiplied by the length of the string is exact 7.5 over the mass is 0 0.120. Let's we see what is the answer for the speed of the wave on the string. So better I can write the unit first and now I'm going to calculate. Square root of 96 multiplied by 7.5. This is not 75, this is 7.5 over 0 0.1 so 1 to 0 because everything is given in terms of uh, uh, the SI unit so no need to convert so the value what I got here is 77.459 so I can write 77.46 what's the answer 77.46 is the answer for the first question clear so it's a direct question and all the data are given so you can find the answer directly clear okay now second question we are going to find what should be the longest possible wavelength. As I mentioned, for the longest possible wavelength, you have to consider, better I can draw the diagram. So you have a string, and this string is attached both ends. So you vibrate the string based on the oscillation. The longest possible wavelength is, you are just going to get only one loop. So if the length of the string, let's we take this is L. <coughs> and for N is equal to 1, Generally, if you have a loop, it's very easy to identify. Please split these loops into two 
and each part will have quarter of wavelength clear understood so therefore l which is equal to 2 lambda over 4 right right therefore so we can cancel this so therefore lambda is equal to 2 times of n clear so now we are going to substitute the value because length is given what's the value of the length which is 7.5 meter therefore the lambda for the longest possible the longest possible is n is equal to 1 which is equal to 2 multiplied by the length of the string is given as a 7.5 meter so it's a 7 multiplied by 7.5 7 multiplied by sorry 2 multiplied by 7.5 i got 15 what's the answer 15 and the unit for the lambda is meter clear so this is the answer for the second part right and the third part we are going to find the frequency clear frequency for n is equal to 1 if you find the wavelength for n is equal to 1 you have to find the frequency for its respect to n value so we studied this formula which formula the frequency general formula what's the formula f which is equal to n v over 2 l this is the rule am i right where n is equal to 1 and v i am going to take the data from the first answer so what is the value of v here which is 77.46 i am going to substitute the value here so therefore f for n is equal to 1 so better i can write 1 here which is n is equal to 1 n value is 1 and the speed i got 77 point i think 46 right yeah 46 77.46 over 2 multiplied by its length is a 7.5 right so let's we see what is its respective frequency value the frequency value for n is equal to 1 77.46 over 2 multiplied by 7.5 i got the answer as a 5.164 so let's say just write 5.16 and its unit is hertz or one over second so this is the answer for the last question so you have only three subdivisions so let's we see the question one more time i hope only three three question is given that's it so we exactly find the answer for all the three so this is the procedure for getting the answer for the speed and uh, its possible wavelength the longest possible wavelength and its respective frequency clear that's it thank you